Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you how to flash the official Android 4.3 update for the Galaxy S3. Generally, with Samsung devices, Samsung has an habit of rolling out updates in stages. So in case you haven't received the update yet, you can flash it this way. Since this is Samsung's official update, neither will you be losing your warranty nor your apps and data. So anyway, it's always better to be safe. So go ahead and back up your apps and data before you continue following this tutorial. I have a video tutorial on how to back up your apps and data. I'll leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. So guys, no matter which ROM you're on, whether it's stock, whether you're rooted or unrooted, this works. As long as your uh, your model number is a Galaxy S3 i9 300, it will. So go to settings about device and uh, check your model number. As long as it says i9-300, you're good to go. Doesn't matter which version of Android you're on, uh, it will still work. So just like I said, just to be safe, make sure you back up your apps and data and proceed. So what you need to do here, guys, is hit link 1 from the download section in the description. That will take you to this page. Download Samsung keys from here and, and install it. Okay, make sure uh, once you've installed it that it's not running in the background. Uh, close it. This is required for the drivers for your computer to communicate with the phone so that we can flash the firmware. Link 2 will take you to Odin 307. So download this zip file and link 3 will get you the zip file. Okay, download these three files. First finish installing keys. Once you've done that, uh, right click on Odin. Extract it. So, now go in, right click, hit run as administrator. All right, so let's leave Odin as it is for the moment. So on your Galaxy S3 i9-300, uh, just turn it off. Power off the device. All right, once you've turned the phone off, hold down volume, power, and home at the same time. Just keep holding it. And once you see this, hit volume up to continue. All right, so over here, my status says... Uh, custom binary download, yes. Uh, current binary says Samsung official. System status official. It doesn't matter what your uh, status says. Okay, it might be different from mine. Don't worry about it. As long as your product, na product name says GTI9300, you're good to go. So, let me quickly connect the phone to the PC with a micro USB cable now. Alright, so... Alright, uh, as long as you have your drivers installed properly, this will turn blue. If it doesn't turn blue, if you don't see anything over here, it means you're, ha you're having some driver issues. So make sure that, like I said, uh, make sure that Samsung Keys isn't running in the background. Uh, if you still are not able to get your PC to detect the phone, go ahead, uh, reboot your PC uh, and try. If that doesn't work, uninstall Keys, reboot your PC, reinstall it, reboot it again, and then try. It should work. So guys, now make sure you also extract link 3, okay? The file that we downloaded from link 3, extract it. Once you extract it, you will get a file that ends in .tar.md5. MD5 might not be visible for some of you, so this is the file basically. Home.tar is what it ends in. So, alright. Going back to Odin. Now click on PDA. Navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted the file we downloaded from link 3. So I've got it on my desktop. S3 4.3. Select the file again. Home.tar.md5. Select it. So your phone is still in download mode. This is what you're going to be seeing on your S3. Do not do anything to the phone. Just leave it as it is. And uh, this will take a few seconds. Uh, it will seem as if you're... As if Odin is not responding, don't worry, that's normal, that's the way it works. Just give it a few seconds. Alright, so now that uh, checking MD5 finished successfully. Alright, so over here, make sure that it's just auto reboot and f.reset time that I checked. Everything else remains unchecked. And now click start. Alright, so at this point, you you're still going to be seeing the same on your phone. Don't worry about it. So this will take about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. I'll be back with you guys once we are done. All right, guys, uh, we are done. Once you, once you say it, say reset, your phone will reboot. And uh, 
you'll see this icon over here the android so just give it some time and it'll boot back up so and at this point you can disconnect your s3 from the pc and we're done with the pc part of this tutorial i'll be back with you guys once the galaxy s3 has put it back up finishing boot all right we are up so guys in in the unlikely event that your uh, phone did not boot back up you have been at the galaxy s3 logo or the samsung logo for like uh over 10 minutes this is what you'd have to do so just keep holding your power button and your phone will power off or pull out the battery either way it would work so just power it off all right and then hold up volume this time instead up volume power and home all right once you see the s3 uh galaxy s3 being displayed over here you can let the keys go this will take you to the recovery so if you're rooted and you have a custom recovery it will take you to that else in other cases it'll take you to android system recovery so here the volume keys are double for navigation and the power key for selection so just scroll down select wipe data factory reset hit the power button uh, select the confirmation hit yes and then come down wipe cache partition once you once you've done that reboot system now all right and your phone will boot back into android so anyway we are up here guys and uh just quickly going into settings more about device and there you see android 4.3 jelly bean and uh going into status okay let's get back to that so here as you can see all my apps and data have been left untouched and uh, as you can see the device status is official so it doesn't really affect your warranty either so i guess that pretty much wraps up this tutorial i hope you guys found it useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so once again thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll catch you guys soon in the next one till then this is Asher from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye, -bye now